Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna learn how to do this. Let's do this real quick. Now that we're back inside here, we can go ahead and we'll kind of break down exactly what you need to do for this simple, easy transition. Now, I wouldn't overuse this too much, but it is fun to use in certain situations. All you really need to do is hit record, start talking, bring the camera to your chest pretty fast so that you're, you darken the whole screen, and then get to your new location, change whatever you need to change, and bring the camera back out. Obviously recording. So let's try this real quick. However you wanna use this effect, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the two clips, you're gonna cut the two shots, just as you're bringing it in, just as everything goes dark, and then just as you're bringing it out for the new shot, you're gonna cut those right there, put them together, and that's about it. You could add some sound effects and stuff like that if you want. Uh, I like to add a little whoosh sound effect. I, you could probably download a sound effect, but like I said yesterday, I like to make my own, and all that is is really just uh, plopping a recorder down and making the whoosh sound with something. Let me find something. Hold on. Whoa. And just like that, well, you got something to make this sound with. Now, I would normally just stand up and wave that in front of the microphone, watch my levels, have headphones on and everything like that so that I can actually do it. But just so you can kind of hear, let's move some stuff out of the way so I don't, well, I don't break anything. But you can you can play with different things and see what the sound the sounds they make and just, well, run with it. Hold on, hold on, that's not good enough, hold on. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that was bad. Okay, you need more room, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Okay, so we're turning this on and I'm gonna do it the right way so that we, I'm not hurting myself. Oh, I usually put this thing on the end of the table and I have a light right up here so that's gonna be a little bit problematic, problematic but you get the idea. You get the idea, you hear it now. Use something plastic, something that you're not gonna hurt yourself with. Maybe a plastic plate. You don't want the microphone to pick up the wind noise, put it that way. You want it to pick up the sound, but not the wind noise. So you're gonna have to experiment a little bit, find something that you like, find a noise that you like and everything like that. And then in post, you can go ahead with, in your editing software, hopefully go ahead and EQ it slightly different. You can change it up, you can change the pitch of it and everything like that. And really, you could even like make layers of the sound to make something really interesting. But you add that sound effect to everything else you're doing and don't have it too loud. You want it subtle. You want, you want to be able to hear it but not realize that you heard it. You're doing all this stuff for the sole purpose of, you don't want really people to notice that you did this stuff. It's just gonna be in there. And it, it'll be more obvious if you don't have it in there than if you do have it in there. Put it that way. What, I'm like a teacher or something. Okay. What's the next one? Oh, the shirt put on thing. You know what I mean? Like you, you see people, it's pretty much the same thing. You're just cutting from one scene to the next, or from, you're cutting from one shot to the next shot. This this video is gonna be horrible. <laughs> you take your shirt like this and you go like that. That's it. That motion, that's what you do. So let's do that one. Where, where's the, oh my gosh. If you make it to the end of this video, gosh, bless you. Can I say God bless you? Whatever, you know what I mean. Why are you talking? Nobody knows you're in here. Oh my goodness, now I'm gonna have to do this all over. Okay, so you take your shirt, your article clothing, whatever you wanna put on, and you make this motion. But you wanna be like hit with it. Cause you want, you gotta act a little bit, you know what I mean? So you're gonna be like, you know? And then you go ahead and put the shirt on. So I'm gonna do that, but not on, I mean, I'm gonna, it's gonna be on camera, but you're not gonna see it. So just, just wait right there. I can't get the shirt off. I'm stuck. It's too hot in here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Okay, so now you go ahead and put the shirt that you just threw on you, you put it on, okay? And now you're gonna pretend you're holding a shirt. Just pretend you're holding a shirt, go through the same motions, okay? So then when you're in your editing software, as soon as that shirt like hits you and you make that motion, you wanna cut it there. And then as soon as you make this motion again to change that shirt, you wanna cut right there, put them together, and that's all I do. I don't put any other type of transition in between it. There's no fades, there's no nothing. It's just a straight cut, but because of the motion that you made and you really sell it with your acting, it looks pretty good. Did I do this right? I don't know. I, I hope I cut it in there. You know what I mean? This is like tough 
to talk about it, but not like show it on a computer screen. Whoa, where's my camera? Oh, I forgot my camera. Now, if you wanna make something reappear or disappear, you can easily do it by just like, well, creating the shot just as it is and not moving. Go ahead and make it reappear, grabbing what you want to make reappear or disappear or vice versa, and then go ahead and start shooting again and it's there. But something better you can do is to get a little movement and you move yourself. So go ahead and make it reappear, but have some movement so it's like, ah, oh, you actually had some force to it. So something I also like to do if I have someone else that can help me or if I'm close enough to my camera, say I have this, you know, all set up and I'm on wide angle and all that stuff. I like to just shake the camera just a little bit. Now be careful doing this because you don't want your camera to fall over. But I found that if you just have the camera go, you know, just slightly, just like that, it creates a nice effect. So when you say like, oh, I'm gonna disappear and the camera shakes, then you cut to the next scene with you not in it. And then you can cut to your new scene with your new background, shake the camera when you reappear. So it just has this little bit, little bit of motion. The camera has just slight bit of motion in it. And you put it all together. And if you're lucky enough, the act of shaking the camera creates a little bit of noise within the microphone. And it creates a nice little effect that you don't even have to put a sound effect to it because you're already recording it. It just creates a nice little low tone sound effect of just, well, not that, that sounds like someone knocking. Trust me, you know what I mean. Figure it out and play with it a bit and you get a nice sound effect. Otherwise make your own sound effect of a low tone, a low rumble, and it'll work pretty nice. This, this video is gonna stink, put it that way. Okay, so let's put this into practice. So let's disappear. And just like that, we're back. And if you add a little bit of movement to it, snap your fingers, whatever you wanna do, shake the camera just slightly if you can, cut it at the right moment, everything's gonna look pretty good. The point is, if you're making stuff vanish or you're having like a clothes change or something like that, the key thing is movement and cutting on that movement, having the new shot, movement and cutting on that movement, putting them together, and that's all you have to do. So everything's in camera. You don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about this effect, that effect. You do it all yourself. You know what I mean? It's, it's a pretty cool, easy effect. Okay, so I've done way too much rambling here today. Hopefully I wasn't so scattered that you didn't quite understand what was going on. Hopefully you did follow along a little bit. Hopefully I edited it right. Um, if not, and you're confused, just as confused as I am, Leave a comment down below and I'll try to figure it out. When I edit this together, I'll, 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 who knows, I might be doing a whole nother take on this. So, I'll see you on the next one. If you like this video or my random scatteredness, definitely subscribe and check out some videos and stuff. Otherwise, I'll definitely see you on the next one.